Karma only takes like one minute to set up after you've installed Node and do npm install g karma because all you have to do is switch over to WebStorm or use the terminal. Uh, I'm going to use the one in WebStorm. Let's say karma init once it's installed. I'm going to use Jasmine for my testing. No required JS. I'll use Chrome. Uh, I'll define test file paths later and don't want to exclude anything. I'm not going to have karma watch for file changes because I'll have WebStorm do that for me and then the file is generated. So you can see when I double click on the folder that karma conf is in there and it's ready to run. I can actually simply right click on it now in WebStorm and say run karma and it'll run and nothing, it didn't run anything. So basically let's define our first file. I uh, will say test and we'll say hello JS and then just switch over to our project. We'll do a new JavaScript file, say test, hello. This will generate this file, so I'll say describe, and we'll describe hello, and we want it uh, should work. And from there we say expect uh, true to be false, because we want it to fail once. I'll hit control R to rerun, and expect it true to be false. And then I'll just simply change to true, and rerun, and we have our first passing test. Uh, one thing you probably notice is I, I got autocomplete in here, and that's because I defined in my JavaScript libraries and my preferences, I defined something called Karma, a Karma Jasmine library, which if you look at it, it's uh, under my user local share npm lib node modules. I just added that in here, which allows me to say whenever uh, I just enable this checkbox, uh, that adds this JavaScript library to your project so that you get autocomplete to that library. Even though I don't have Karma, the JavaScript file in my project, I can actually, you know, control click on this and it'll navigate to that file in my path. So you can see up here that that's actually that actual file. So we have our first test running and Karma is installed. And basically I'm just gonna be adding files to this list of files to keep on testing them. If you want to use the command line to run Karma test, just go to the configuration and it'll show you the steps and it'll say starting Karma, Karma start, and some of the arguments you can pass in uh, for the customizations you want to do.